All right, today we're going to talk about deck box options, especially if you have smaller decks that are around 50 cards. And specifically, I made this video because I play white shorts where the decks are specifically 50 card size. Of course, this is like a triple sleeve deck. So even though it's 50 cards, it's really, really thick. And I needed to shop for an option or to store my decks, right? So this is why I made this video. So I go through all these type of deck holders so you don't have to. So right off the bat, I'll tell you which one you shouldn't get. Originally, I wanted to get the Ultimate Guard Flip and Tray because it kind of looked cool and you could have like a little storage slot in order, I guess, store dice or whatever it is. And my idea was the fact that it says that it could hold 100 double sleeve cards, right? 120 single sleeve cards. And then I was like, great, since the cards are 50 card decks, if I double sleeve the cards, I should be able to hold two decks in there and that would be the perfect solution right right all right and the reason why this doesn't work is because so it looks really nice and rather than it being horizontal like the sidewinder the flip and tray is a ver oh, as my deck falls over so this is a double sleeve regular double sleeve deck right and i'm using dragon shields the regular dragon shields and i have the kmc perfect fits in the inner sleeve and the thing with this is that okay so if you double sleep of course like since it's a new deck you know i have to get the air out you could like kind of squeeze out the air and whatnot and then you technically should be able to fit 250 card decks in there right so this is double sleep and after squeezing out all the air i'm actually able to squeeze two decks in there but i don't feel like it was comfortable enough so it says in the advertisement right that you should be able to fit 100 and 100 double sleeve cards in there. But when I try to jam 100 double sleeve cards in there, the card at the end was actually starting to bend towards a certain direction. And I just wasn't feeling comfortable with the fact that, that I was able to not damage the cards while having it in there. That and if you're storing your deck and it's not 100 cards and, you know, it's vertical like this, the thing is that with vertical decks when you juggle them around yeah it doesn't fall out or anything right so it has like the magnetic uh, clasp and then it closes but the thing is that like even though it doesn't fall out it's still bouncing up and down and like hitting the top there it's, i mean if you double sleeve your card you're not really worried about it but at the end of the day do i feel comfortable with the cards bouncing up and down like that over time i probably would not so if you're just looking it's a really awkward size so if you're looking to put your 50 card deck in there and it's double sleep if it's not double sleeve and you only single sleeve your cards you could probably get away with this one but if you're double sleeving your cards and you're using the flip and tray i probably would not recommend it because it's a very awkward size it's either too big for 150 card deck unless you find some filler cards to put in there or it's too small in order to fit it without thinking about your cards bending and damaging especially the cards at the end the one plus i think i would i do like about it is that i could store some dice in there like if you play a game that has counters but overall i would say like if you're playing a game like white shorts where your deck is only 50 cards or if you're thinking about using this to store two 250 card decks then this is not the option for you unless you're only single sleeving if you're single sleeving then this flip and tray is fine I also wanted to point out too is that if you're triple sleeving, so these are the KMC matte and clears. If you're triple sleeving, the cards actually do not fit into the flip and tray. I don't know if it's because of the actual like um, every box is made slightly differently. I mean, I know it does specifically say that it only fits double sleeve cards, but this is just something to note, right? If you're triple sleeving your cards, it actually does not fit into this as well. And before I go over the actual option that I actually settled with, I'll go over also the regular like anime deck box as you have, right? So this is actually from the White Shorts supply set, but most of the time, if you look for just like anime deck holders, this is probably what you'll end up with. And they're meant for, I think like roughly around like one deck. And again, this is just to show you what it'll look like if you put a box of double sleeve cards in there. I mean. For the purpose that it is, it's not like, you know, airtight and then there's like gaps in it. And then, you know, at the end of the day, it's still top loading into it. Top loading mean that your cards are, you're putting it vertically. 
and you're still bouncing them like up and down right which i'm still honestly not very comfortable with but as for an option it's pretty cheap this came from a supply set that i think they retail for like 20 dollars but normally you should be able to find anime deck holders for around uh roughly around like between 15 and 30 dollars or so and i could probably show you what it looks like to put a triple sleeve it actually fits a triple sleeve deck in there pretty comfortably yeah, so compared to the flipping chair where i wasn't even able to put it in there to begin with and outside that you also have storage boxes as well too where you could buy these like anime storage boxes i think bushi road sells them the newer ones i think are not cardboard like this and they're more like the plastic materials and again it's pretty straightforward i would guess like you could fit probably like two to around like two to three decks in here comfortably and you'll probably just like separate them as for like any sort of protection it offers probably none but i mean if you're looking for like a pretty much a cheap solution for it and then you really don't want to invest in like getting an actual separate storage boxes and you just want to have everything in one place and not pay a lot then this is not bad as for the actual solution that I ended up settling for, I actually went for the Sidewinder instead. I actually, there's other type of deck boxes, but I actually liked Ultimate Guard because they had that magnetic clasp on there and it seems to hold it really well. And it just, overall, they just feel like very, very premium and just like sturdy as opposed to if I were to use like the the cheap plastic ones which are still like these things are still like $15 and then or like a cardboard box one where like sometimes I feel like you know especially if you have like a design that you like you wouldn't want the box to get damaged as well as like it doesn't really feel secure the fact that if you have two decks in there even if you put like a separator between the decks it's still like flopping around whereas in this case having an individual deck holder I guess is nice but it, it it is pretty pricey even at like nine like 15 to 19 retail each to hold a 80 card deck and this same goes for like the 100 card decks right you're i do have the 80 and the 100 one and with the 100 one, you still can't fit two decks in there so if you're thinking about that then do not if you want like a 100 size one the 100 plus one you could use it but mainly to put one deck in there if you have like other side you know cards that you want to put in there but as for if you're just looking to store one deck, you'll go for the 80 plus one, which I'm going to show you now. So again, the difference between the 80 and the 100 plus one is actually not that big. They're roughly around the same size. But the one I'm going to show you is actually the 80 plus one, which I actually have multiples of to store my decks. And then again, the reason why I actually like this is because, again, it has like that magnetic clasp and inside is like this like microfiber material rather than just plastic and then i'm gonna do like a size comparison between this and the anime deck boxes and they're roughly actually around the same size and then this is next to just like one of the storage boxes which is a lot more compact but again like you know you're still buying individual deck holders for decks which is might be a little bit overkill but depending on especially if some of these decks you're playing are very very expensive you know you want a more premium solution right so this is with a double sleeve deck of course it's like a fresh double sleeve deck, so it's a little bit more puffed up but you do see that there even if i like squeeze it all the way in there's really not that much space if i wanted to fit like two decks in there even if i have the 80 plus one it's just way too tight so i wouldn't recommend trying to do two decks for any of this and then since it's slight side loaded you're not having any of the openings bouncing anywhere else right so it's just closed up there's not really a lot of wiggle room in order for it to shift like left or right and then it just claps closed of course like it's still like bounce up up and down but you hear like you know it's not as like you know jiggling around like this one or the vertical flipping tray which again like if you're gonna go for any kind of deck holder i would recommend a side loading deck loader like this so this is with a double sleeve deck and then this is with a triple sleeve deck and then again this is kind of a again it's another 50 card triple sleeve deck but it is still a brand newish deck so you're still dealing with the fact that uh 
there is a lot of air pockets in there which i'll probably go over double sleeving and triple sleeving in a different video but that's beside the point so okay so this is a whiff of a 50 car triple sleeve deck again this is with the kmc madden clear so even with all the air squeezed out you still have it's pretty comfortable and snug where you have a little bit of room if you have like some side deck cards that you want to bring with you in order in case you want to swap some cards out but again it's not moving around it's like really 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 snug and I, again i really really like this you know magnetic clasp on there where it just closes it just feels clean and for the solution it is like and how premium it feels i definitely out of all the deck holders that i've tried and i ended up returning this is probably the best one that i would recommend uh, this is the this is the 80 plus sidewinder so if you're looking for a deck solution and you have like you know more expensive cards like why wouldn't you want to just spend a little more and have like you know something more premium especially if you're running like you know triple rares and like uh just like more expensive foils in general if your deck itself costs like you know you know f you're paying like over 100 200 dollars just for like a basic deck or if you're just like foiling it out why wouldn't you want a solution that is just a little more premium but yeah overall i would recommend the sidewinder if you're looking for just like a cheaper solution and you don't really have an expensive deck then i guess these anime deck box holders would suffice i mean one one thing i wanted to also note down is if you have you know these anime deck box holders what you could do is you could throw a box in the box and then you know have that as you know a storage solution for it but at that point, then you're just having so many different type of boxes. Why would you, wouldn't you just have one type of solution? Again, you know, this is given that if you use this type of solution, they are like 15 to $20 each. So that's something to consider as well, too. But again, as for like the final solution for me to store my deck, I feel like this is the best option. I would recommend going for the Sidewinder 80 plus. And especially since how expensive some of these white shorts get decks get, you know, where on minimum you're it's these decks are worth at least 80 to like $150. And that's without saying that if you're foiling out your decks, like, you know, some of the cards that I'm running, like it's a little bit more expensive, especially, you know, I say if you're triple sleeving, this feels very, very comfortable and it feels secure. All right. But that's it for the video. I. I went through all my, you know, deck storage solutions, especially since I started playing and I realized like a 50 card deck is actually just a very, very, very awkward size, which is why I was kind of struggling where originally my thought was, oh, if I get a hundred, hundred card deck holder, then I would be able to fit everything, especially since the ultimate guard website said that it could hold 100 double sleeve cards. So I figured, okay, if I'm just going to double sleeve, then let me just jam it in there. But it was just so tight and the cards at the end were just kind of like, bending outwards like this a little bit i just did not feel comfortable putting 100 double sleeve cards in there so i that this was the solution that i ended up opting for but yeah as far do you have the gold ultimate card i don't think so because when i actually looked up on amazon there was a lot of side side loading deck options again i recommend side loading as opposed to the top loading ones just because of how the cards move in there I don't feel like side loading deck load top loading deck loaders are that great of a solution for decks especially just the amount of movement in there i just don't feel comfortable with and again this is the triple sleeve deck and this is the double sleeve deck and then this is without almost without all the air put getting pushed out i'm still working on that but again like this is the double sleeve this is a triple sleeve with triple sleeve deck it actually does not move around at all and it's just like very 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 snug but yeah i definitely recommend this and even if you're shopping for other options that are not ultimate guard i would again recommend just getting a 80 plus deck holder don't unless you really have a lot of side cards i don't recommend getting 100 because there's just too much room for it to move around and for me i don't feel comfortable with my cards just like jiggling around like this and I would not opt for the vertical one because if it's bouncing up and down, I would assume the chances of your cards getting damaged is a lot higher. 
especially if you're thinking about running like max rarity and running like signed cards in there where you're running some cards that might be like a hundred dollars or something i definitely recommend you know the side loading option instead but thank you for watching i hope this helped uh again like for me like i just it just seemed so hard to find an actual perfect deck option and this just ended up being the perfect one for me that i felt comfortable using as well as it wasn't too pricey thank you for watching and have a great day